Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Olden. So last episode we made the massive trek to Bordenbrad, which is where we are now. And we also encountered Agent Lydia again. Um, she said something about we're going to have to make a decision about whose side we want to be on and she wants us to side with them. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure what who's the bad guy here. Um, we also found where Team Plunder might be at some sort of ghost area. But yeah, we're going to explore Bored and Brad and then we'll kind of go from there. There's also a gym here I believe, so we need to find out how you get a pass for the boat. Hello, I'm one of Poke Professor Wisteria's assistants, Abdurus. Great to finally meet you. The professor wants me to give you a bite voucher if you've seen 260 different kinds of Pokemon. Ah. Oh. Okay. Pokemon's attacked by the fastest creature I've ever seen. Just walking through the dale when I suddenly heard him cry out. Luckily the nurses here are top notch. Must be on about Chien Pao. Did a fire for the Avery here in town, now they'll fly me to gains for free whenever I want. Ah. Huh. Oh, actually I need to go back in there because I need to switch my team up, don't I? Because we were adding you to the team. Didn't I catch another Pokemon? Oh yeah, Bug Dragon there. I'll, I'll keep what I've got. I do need to move the XP share though to Elekid. Also, I should have some um, things to give it. You can see it'll grant a small single amount. Just give more. Didn't really take us that high. Um, use a grasp saw hits target for super chill limit may also freeze but oh, we'll get rid of that I'm sure there was something else as well yeah we can give the dial mix we'll just do three of them though comet punch no I'll keep, I'll keep what we got that's why I use the other three as well. Use a boost of power. Also, no, I'll, I'll skip that. In fact, actually, what we're going to do, we're going to go and do the team plunder thing before we explore Board and Brad, I think. Because obviously, Board and Brad's the st like continuing the story on. Um, so I'll skip to when we're back by where team plunder were. Okay, then. So we're back. I've. Got rid of the phantom as well, so we can just head straight in. Um, let's light it up. Oh, plunderable. Oh, why don't you just turn around and get out of here before you get hurt? Um, I think I'll take a hard pass. Right, fairy fire. What else we got? Um, PGO2, I don't know why I just stayed in. Um, well, now that I have, I'm just going to have to try and go for damage, which we, we get. A choke, let's go Combuskin. And Jaw Wing Beat, nice and easy. They don't pay me enough to guard this place anyways. Now we'll leave the repel off for the time being because there could be Pokemon in here. Like new Pokemon. Well yeah there is. He's that got like uh what's it called? A shovel in its head. Netball. Oi, we got it first time. So I wonder if it's psychic water or fairy water. And it's water ghost, oh, okay. Pokemon sense a strong emotion, it will run away as fast as it can. It prefers areas without people. 
Alright. I think that might have been all that we wanted in here. Oh, shiny here too. I'm gonna have to pass on that there. This area is quite big. With different ways to go. Shelter. I know that that's a psychic type. Let's try an horrible. Oi, we got it. Nothing better than when you can catch something easy. Oh, psychic ancient swims facing backwards by opening and closing its two piece shell surprisingly fast. Alright. Oh, got any rare Pokemon kid? They like literally come out of nowhere. Pancham. Let's go Fairy Fire. Berry Punch. Use it to fall upon Berry and then smacks target boost and attack. You know what? Um, I'm going to get rid of Snow Dive. Or should we get rid of that? We'll get rid of Chill Touch. I never even saw what it was. Breloom. Seeker Flame. I'll steal those Pokemon next time. Mime Junior. All right, I'm gonna gonna use some repels so I can just get through here, and then I can always come back if there's some I particularly want. Dusty old journal entry. Mother says our preparations to leave have been too slow. If we aren't bringing anything with us, what even is there to prepare? I don't understand any of this. Arthur said he overheard his parents talking about something the Helifians did to Yorick. Then his father started crying. I hope I can sleep tonight. What's that quest? Investigate journals. Alright. Well, it doesn't heal you. Ah, oh, I want to just stop checking these pots. I can't be bothered with the like the battle in them because you can't even run. Right, let's go up here. Oh, I won't let you disrupt the boss's meeting. Timber. Um, so I thought we can stay in our... What you got next for me? And a Spearer. No, actually, yeah, let's go, Ella Kid. Mm. Snow Dive. Didn't do as much as I thought. Stay away from the second floor if you know what's good for you. What? There's floors to this place. You would need a truly impressive tool to smash this rock. Huh. Dusty old journal entry. I guess I've been here for just over a year and no conflict has arisen with the people of Helifer. Which means they either have not identified our guests or the people of Halifa have become much more tolerant in the years of my absence. Fear conflict may not be avoidable forever. Children have already begun asking questions and that Yorick fellow has an ominous disposition. Hmm. Alright, we got rare candy. Rosalie Smash. Sea salve. The monks here have always been so accommodating, such good teachers to the children. Arthur and Tamara are getting the kind of education we never had. Seeing them run around the grounds is a purer joy than I've ever known. This would all be so perfect if not for Yorick. I pray he doesn't make the monks regret their hospitality. Please give him strength, Celebi. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have another area 
where we use the flute. I see how these monks whisper when I'm around. I see their stares. They treat us well enough for now, but I know they would sell us out for a pittance. I don't know why the others trust them so much. Just before dusk, I'll head down to the mountain in to Helifa, Helfia, and allow our neighbours to share some of their many riches with me. Arthur and Tamara deserve so much more than hiding in a dark monastery. The least I can do is surprise them with a treat now and then. Have I battled you? Wait, who are you? No, I haven't. Oh my god. That's definitely a ground type. Or rock. Tanks that there. It's like, kind of like a statue. Don't tell the gourmet what I said. Got odd incense. Right, there's the stairs. Got a plunderable. Score. I bet my help hapless comrades already softened you up. Not really. They were quite easy. Dodger. Quib Roller, that's a fighting type. Lady and I can take that out as well. I think it's level 50. We possibly evolve. Enigma pot herds, pot sherds, whatever they're called. Oh, uh, I've already done that. I think there was an item here. Cross poison. All right, maybe there's more journals up ahead. Oh, yeah, there's one here. Some strange people came to the monastery tonight. The teacher locked us in our rooms and had us extinguish the lights. Tamara could see the path leading down the mountain from her window. She says they took teacher away in chains. Now Yorick and teacher are both missing. Mom says we leave at dawn. A chilling gust of wind suddenly howls through the halls. I feel as though you are not alone. Okay. Something is now in here. Where I'm not sure. Ah, oh, there's Marshadow. Did I read this one? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let me just save. Pretty cool. Um, so it's ghost fighting, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'll just delete it. Alright, that, that, that was pretty cool. Um, now we want to head up here. I think you've you're about to go by the Lady Glynis. You've just made a grave mistake. Lady Glynis. I don't think we've met that person yet. Let's go Illa Kid. Wind chill. Let's see how much this is going to do. About half. Oh, not enough. Oh, you switched, you little scumbag. Alright, come boss and you can finish it. Right, one more. 
Noctowl. Alright, got ya. Wants to learn Ice Ball. Nah, I'll skip that. Glynis and Daphne will finish you. Glynis. What a name. A sea cell. Alright, what have we got? Ward Lapis. There's no one here. Like, it looks like someone's Pokemon was stolen by those poachers. Yeah, there's nothing here. Doesn't make any sense. Like, should there not be someone up here? Unless there's another like set of stairs somewhere. But it doesn't look like there is. I am very confused. No, I must have missed something. Unless we have to come back here a different time after we've done something else. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Alright then, um, let's head on back to whatever it was called. Um, I forgot what the place is called. Bordengrad or... Yeah, that's it. In fact, actually, I might keep this video short. And then the next one we can just figure out what we're doing in Board and Brad and what's here. Because it does look like it's pretty big. Um, so, yeah. Keep the video... Nah, actually scrap that because it, it'll be like too short. I'm really expected to believe that everyone is town but we're not going to afford a loan payment. Honestly, these marshals are everywhere. Um, not really worth making anything. Going to single up Pokemon a medium amount. A Valley Fizzer. Pine Sentry Buff Bomb for Pokemon Increase Special Attack EVs by 4. Mystic Water, yeah. Pick one of the best visitors from this item exchange, and you can easily find popular wood in the Dale. Snover seems to aimlessly collect it. Hmm. Born and bred was so peaceful before the Silver Marshal showed up. Even Caspin's fishing contest feels like it's a dark cloud over it now. So what's here? Oh, this is where we came in. see what's in here. I heard you went and took care of the shade of good driver. It's incredible I can finally enjoy the Dale again. Thank you. Have this won't need it to relax anymore. 16 tossed snacks. Howdy. It's just me I was this communal lodge pretty messy. Looking for a program to help me with my swimming training. Want to trade your horse for my cloth. I reckon I have a strong trainer on C1. Like that song I was playing. Old folks song about the beauty of Melody Meadows. 
gets its name from the enchanted song that seems to echo through it. The folk stories say the whole area is blessed by legendary Pokemon that loves music. As a musician, I'm obviously intrigued. Pretty good gig performing for Rakant and his friends on that floating gym. Someday I want to meet that legendary Pokemon if it exists. As a trainee, you must travel a lot. If you ever meet that legendary, promise to come show me your Pokedex. Teach one of you musical Pokemon a powerful move. It's honestly, obviously on about um, Meloetta. Such a cheer and except changes when it's raining, his Pokemon have the advantage. Just stands in the rain wearing a three piece suit, who does that? Team God ever offers you a job, don't take it. It's basically a cult. Their leader, Garen, is convinced he can see the future and that only he can save Elephant. They're all crazy, that's why I got out. You explain the theft and show the young man the tablet. I know Bart isn't the kindest of the men, but destroying the Underboro Bridge just to rob him is a step too far. It's going to hurt regular people just looking to live their lives. Be happy to help you unlock this tablet. It takes a few swipes at the screen and begins reading through something. The messages are loosely coded, but I can tell you what they mean. The stolen tools are being brought to someone named Carla at the TM shop in Sporin. Apparently Team Guard's building some kind of facility underneath the store. This can't be good Pokéat, so we have to alert the Aldenian League. I'm glad you think so. I'll make the call and you head to Sporin. A gold ball. Alright then, let's... Um Ah, oh, the professor. No, I can't resurrect your fossils. Do you work at the station here in town? That's so cool. Yep, thanks. Silver marshals are conducting important business here. Don't get in our way. Honestly, I don't like the gold, the silver marshals. Welcome. I'm Gita. I'm sort of the town's gardener. Born and bred to fruits fruits, Rosalie berries, and I do my part to keep them happy and healthy. Much better with berry trees than Pokemon, that's for sure. But you're a trainer, aren't you? Been looking at high one. My son Marik is at the age where he's become much more adventurous. He wants to play with his friends and explore the dale. I want to be safe though and I'd feel better if he had a Pokemon partner. Especially one that could pull him out of the sea if he fell in. I've heard Oshawott, Mudkip and Froakie all make great first Pokemon for children. If you me one of those I'll pay you well. Hmm. I'm going to be strong and kind like my mum when I grow up. She takes care of all the plants. Alright, get the Amaze Mulch. And let's be gone. What a waste. What's this? Oh, let's go in the range station. Welcome, I'm Ranger Ran, the news recruiter. I can trade in supply tokens you collect for Ranger. If you're looking for Warden Davin, he's in the back room. We don't have any wishes for recruits right now, though, so you may want to keep working with Warden Tyan in Barrow. Huh. Hello there. I've heard about you. It sounds like you'll be a great ranger in no time. We should have something for you right now, but I don't. You should head back to Barrow and keep working with Warden Tyan. I'm sure she'll send you back my way soon enough. Till then. Ah, oh, man, that kind of sucks. I'll have to head back to Barrow then at some point. Ah, oh, this stupid thing again. You wouldn't think we'd get many storms here, but you'd be wrong. They form off the coast of Murmur Isle and the Ostia Current brings them right to us. Huh. I've got an Ostia Star. Oh, what's this? I'm going to dive below the boardwalk and use my bare hands to win this fishing contest. Hey there trainer, I'm Delora. I help my brother Caspian run his store when I'm not doing research Professor Kath. A bit of fishing competition. Um, I'll pass on the, um, the fishing competition. Oh, I need 60k for a good rod. This Pokemon Inspired Tool improves your chance of hooking a fish with any rod. Restorative sands touched by a sea guardian. Oh, I make a rad granola. I think they'll let me try some for a good rod. Yeah, I need a good rod so I can get a Dratini. We should afford a better fishing rod. I've heard the good rod and super rod let you catch totally different Pokemon. So expensive. I'm gonna catch this white stripe basket in a wind Caspian's mithril coat. 
No offense, but you don't stand a chance, kid. I've been fishing every day for the past 17 years. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. That's how you get a mythical coat. Move along. We're conducting important silver martial business inside. Let's head in here. Hmm, you want a sandals, friends? He just home and bolted upstairs looking terrified. Imagine something about the healthier, healthier runes. Sun's starting to join the Phalian Society. They're an archaeological organisation with a few campuses in Helifan. New campus in Bahada Village is currently recruiting scholars. Boy's face incredibly pale and drenched in sweat. Well, I thought I was dead. What? That was wild. I was in the ruins east of town making some etchings of the wall carvings. Studying the ruins so I can join up the society. Anyway, I heard a loud crash, like something fragile shattering. And a moment later, this horrible creature was lunging at me. My Pope and I just barely escaped. He was able to save my... The young man frantically dumps out the backpack he's wearing. My... Ah, uh, my etchings are gone. Must have left them at the ruins. Weeks work of... Weeks worth of work gone. It looked like an enormous ghostly snake. If it was a Pokemon, it's certainly not one I recognise. He was hiding in an old vase or something. Really, that would be amazing. Those etchings are my only hope at joining the society and becoming a great historian. They're probably on the ground right where I was attacked. I was at the very back of the ruins in a clearing hidden by some collapsed columns. You might need a Pokemon nose dig to get back there. Don't have any money to pay you, but I can give you my discount card for the local fishing shop if you get those. And then that would mean that we can get a fishing rod, a uh, good rod and stuff, a lot cheaper. What was that? You're lucky you aren't on my list today. No, you're lucky because I would have absolutely clobbered you on. So, can I get your advice? I'm going to plan a special evening with my girlfriend, but I'm just not sure what route to go. Um, Borrow a gift. Thanks for your advice. Oh. Hey there, you look like you need a bike. Nothing beats cruising the steep, jagged slopes of the Dale and authentic boredom bike. Watch my payment system's down, so unless you have a bike voucher, I can't hook you up. Nice. This one would be perfect for you. What, so we don't even get to pick it ourselves? Oh, okay. Hello. Welcome to the Dust Point Aviary. It may not be as big or fancy as the one in Barrow, but we do good work here. Who can leave how aviaries and trainers help each other? God, that saves me some explaining. If you're interested, Pidgeot and I can take you between here and Gaines whenever you like. Just need to do an act of service for the aviary first. That's a relief. There's actually an important matter that the aviary and the really all of Bold and Brad could use some help with. We've been finding an unusually high number of badly injured pickpack in Dust Pine Pale. There also been multiple complaints at the Bold and Brad Lodge about travellers being attacked by some kind of shade. To figure out what it is that's causing these injuries, I'll personally fly you between here and Gans whenever you like. That's how it's been described. Bold and Brad and the dad are known for their ghost stories and curses. It makes sense that people start to see these attacks that way. Whatever this is, it must move very quickly and stealthily in the shadows. I could tell when you walked up that you had a look of determination. Thank you. You may want to ask around at the lodge before you head into the dale. You relay the story of the good driver farms and what dwelled inside. Sounds terrifying, Perky. It's well done. Oh, it was the weave oil? Okay. Perky must be strong and loyal to accompany you. I'm half bored and bad, thank you. That's why Miss Pidgeot and I will fly to Gaines and back any time you like. Don't care what everyone says about Rakant, I think he's cool and pretty dreamy. Right then, let's go in here. Hey there, I'm Sheila, I like my place. Even if Rakant has made the rest of the board and bread all stuffy, I keep the beach vibes alive in here. You can't tell of shells, I'll buy any you have for a high price. Oh, you got an Ostia star. What's this? Ostia coral. Got a capsule ball. Right, where haven't we been? We haven't been in here. Welcome to my home, I'm an expert Pokemon affection. I know the telltale signs of when a Pokemon is or isn't connecting with their trainer. Sure, 
sure what you said. Oh, I don't want a ribbon. Ahoy, you know the water's a born and bred better than anyone. So with an old rod, old rod you can get red and blue, basculine, tentacle, aracuda, normal tortuga, steel magicka. White shark, basculine, tentacle, normal tortuga, steel magicka, and horsey. So having the good rod doesn't actually improve it much. supplies yet All right, I think that kind of ticks everywhere off no maybe not you must be a traveling trainer my name's Dalton I work with the Pokemon daycare my specialty all things related to the care bay Pokemon you look like quite the trainer yeah that was easy well let me tell you about the job sometimes bay Pokemon wander away from daycare into the walls of the dale Quite a frightening thing, especially with talk of criminals, silver marshals, or some kind of shade. I've heard that Pillar Swan can. S no, not Pillar Swan, Truffles. Can sniff out just about anything buried in the snow, and they have incredibly strong maternal instincts. I think one could be a great help to us at the daycare. I want to test my theory before we invest in one, though. The job is simple train a swan until it evolves into Pillar Swan, and then see if they can sniff out the three cent markers I left in the dale. I'll pay well for your work. I'm on it. Very common in the day, you can catch one and evolve into a pillar swine. Right, anything up here? No ghost snakes in here. Alright, um, nothing, nothing else. Oh, there's the gym. Man doesn't seem interested in talking to you. A jackass. Oh, is this the lodge? Oh yeah, I've been in here. Right, let's go. Doors like the sign posted. Infield healthier. We'll be back at some point. Calf. Huh. Need you to meet with a colleague calf to seek treatment. Where is health healthier? Right, so there's the ruins. Well oh uh, yeah yeah. Alright, well I think what we'll do then, we'll end it here, and then next episode I can start looking for the professor, because we're going to have to go out of the board and bread, but um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.